blessed evening everybody wherever you're going to watch this video from i greet you in the name of the father and the son and of the holy spirit i greet you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray you are all we will and that god is gracious good and kind to all of you me i am well i am thankful and grateful to god for his grace and his mercy i just have a very bad cold as you can see and hear from my voice but we give god all the glory the honor and the praise amen you know, at the moment, a lot of people are going through a lot of things and there's a heavy attack on Christians, especially financially, the children of God. The devil is attacking us so that we become desperate. We start doing things out of character and out of the standards of God. But the devil is a liar, for greater is the one in us than what is out here. We're just going to take some time to pray for ourselves and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. There are a lot of people in the whole entire universe, the whole entire world our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ who are under attack that sometimes it can be very overwhelming but this is the time that we're going to pray and ask God to strengthen our faith because faith is just not about talking faith is about the walk you have to walk the walk of that faith you're talking and preaching about if you're holding on to a job because you're afraid that if you lose it you're going to go broke or homeless and this and that then everything that comes with fear is not from God when it comes with fear it's not really from God if you are holding on to a relationship, a marriage, and you are afraid that if you do this, it will finish, that's not from God. Fear is not from God. If you are holding on to anything that has to do with fear and you are afraid that if you let it go, you will lose everything or everything will fall apart, then that's not the way that God wanted you to live. Because God says, even in the Bible, he tells us that fear is not from him. He has given us a sound mind. A mind to be a, a mind to be bold and also to have strength and a steady for spirit to guide us the holy spirit does not get afraid or intimidated or operates in fear so we're going to pray for strengthening of our faith and asking god to help our fellow brothers and sisters in christ across the whole entire world those that are feeling it the most especially that god will give them strength that he will protect them that he will guide them that he will lift them that he will help them that he will he will come there and strengthen them as he strengthens all of us. Do not be weary. Do not be afraid. Everything shall come to pass. And I was so grateful and gracious today that God allowed me to speak with my sister Sharon. She just empowered my faith also in Christ. So let's just go before the presence of God to pray for each other because it's important. Amen. The people who are always feeding other people, praying for other people, doing for other people, when they are attacked, they can be very alone. It's important that they also have somebody in the gap standing for them to pray that God is allowing us to intercede for others and not just ourselves. Amen. Let's come before the presence of God. Dear Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before your presence this evening. Lord God Almighty, we give you all the honor and the glory. We praise you, we worship you, and we magnify your name. We thank you for who you are and for all you do. We thank you for your amazing grace, your goodness, your kindness, and your love. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your covenant, which is the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forevermore. We thank you for your steady fast spirit and your love, which never shaketh or withers at all. Oh, it is always there with us and always there protecting us, leading us and guiding us in every area and aspect of our lives. Father, we thank you for our husbands, our wives, our children, our marriages and our homes. We thank you for everything that you have given unto us that what you have allowed and established for us, Lord. We thank you for our jobs, Lord. We thank you for our relatives, our friends, Lord. We thank you for our neighbors. We thank you for all creation, Lord, for everything that is on the earth has a purpose and a plan even when man does not understand you the almighty sovereign god understands everything and knows everything from beginning to the end so god we bless your name this day we honor you and we lift you we exalt your name high and we indeed confess that jesus is indeed lord we thank you for your amazing grace your protection lord your providation upon us lord we thank you for your guidance your love and your peace that is upon us that despite everything that is around us that is shaking in the world despite whatever the enemy is blowing or plotting we do not feel the harm not because we are superior or above but by thy mercy and tender grace goodness and faithful love you are keeping us lord protecting us and guiding us even when we sleep in the night covering us from evil principalities and powers of darkness shielding us lord from marine kingdoms from witchcraft from wizards from warlocks and from all 
evil powers of darkness. We thank you, Jehovah Nisi, for being the God who is the God of truth the God of light, the God of peace, and the God of righteousness, that it doesn't matter where a man is born from or where he comes from, we all stand a favor before your presence. Lord, this evening we humble ourselves before your presence as your children. We gather here, all of us, as we are all going to see this prayer, and all of us that are going to take part, we join together, Lord, mind, body, soul, and spirit. We surrender ourselves to you, Lord. We submit our lives, our children, our husbands, and our homes, the very things that we love that you have given us we submit it unto thee lord we ask that lord you have your way and that you let your will be done take full total control take charge lord we ask that you search each and everything in our lives our hearts our minds our thoughts in and out lord we ask that you wash us and clean us in the blood of jesus christ we ask that you renew us lord in the way that we think in the way that we walk in the way that we treat other people in the way that we live we ask that you strengthen us lord and renew our minds lord that you freshen us lord up with truth with peace with love and kindness jehovah nisi we are asking today this evening as we gather before your presence we cover all our brothers and sisters in christ every born again believer that is out there that is proclaiming and carrying the name of jesus christ and testifying that jesus is lord and that god is real we surrender all of us lord to you we ask lord that you strengthen the whole entire body of Christ Lord at large that you give us hope and strength that you will allow our faith Lord to be strengthened in this moment and in this time we ask Jehovah Nisi that you strengthen all of us our faith the most Lord there are a lot of attacks going on people are desperate financially people are being attacked financially people are being tested financially Lord we ask that you strengthen our faith we are not going to be keeping our jobs because of desperation that if we lose them we are going to lose everything for father everything we have even when we think we buy it with money it is you who allows us so father we are asking that you help us to make the right decisions lord and strengthen our faith strengthen our faith and empower our faith in you that god we are not just going to be born again believers who are going to be talking about we believe and we have faith on our mouth but it shall be proven lord in our way of life in how we live we ask right now that you pay a visit holy spirit to each and every one of your children around the whole entire earth lord that you renew us and remind us rejuvenate us lord again fill us up with peace we come against and anxiety fear and desperation lord we ask that you renew us in peace again in your peace lord that whatever is disturbing us lord whatever is keeping us in fear shall not keep us in fear anymore we begin to break the shackles and the chains of fear right now out of our lives lord we refuse desperation and anxiety god it is you who provides and sustains us lord everything that has to do with money right now we surrender it before your presence father you said seek thy kingdom first the rest will follow and you also said that you will bless our hands works lord and you also said that we should never be in a workplace because of money but we should do it with love and you said with everything that we do we should do it with love with gladness with joy with peace kindness and tenderness in jesus is mighty name father this evening we are asking there are so many of us that are in desperation right now so many of us that are being tested to make decisions when it comes to money that goes against our faith that sits against the truth with you jehovah jireh we are asking lord that you give us a sound mind that we shall make decisions that are good for us lord for our children and our families lord it is you who knows that we work so we can provide and put food on the table for our children not to be rich or billionaires so we ask that you take full total control and charge when it comes to each and everything that has to do with money lord we come against the manipulation of the devil in our finances trying to make us desperate or trying to make us stay or do things that is not of God. Right now we call upon you Jehovah Nisi. We ask that you fight for us even those that are fighting with people that are putting them in problems that are lying, that are manipulating their work of place, that are making their work of place uncomfortable, that are putting the work of place in, in it be making it an environment that is something that people cannot stand. We ask Lord that you begin to intercede and interfere Lord because a lot of people give up because of the things they have to face and father in this evil world lord jesus it is almost like if you cannot join in in the wickedness you will not survive we refuse for you said we are not of this world we are in this world but not of this world god we ask that you take over that you take
take charge and you take full total control. We ask for wisdom, for knowledge on how in the old days it used to be. People never used to work for companies, Lord. People used to work for their sales. Men were able to exchange trade and service to one another. We are asking for wisdom. Open our minds. Open our minds as children of God to use the wisdom of God, our talents, the abilities, our hands work that we begin to become our own infrastructure and bosses that you, God, is the one who's going to provide the work and the job for us and that we are going to do it in environments that is safe, in environments where we are going to also allow, where the Holy Spirit will be allowed to work, to win souls for, for the kingdom of God and not just it being a job, not it just being a workplace, but it being being more Lord, an environment where there is people, there is the reason to show the love, the compassion and the, and the grace of God that is upon us to other people. Just as it says, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. There is opportunity for the light of Jesus to shine wherever we work around other fellow humans. So Father, we ask that you facilitate for us, Lord, an environment where we are able to work in a, in a way that the gospel or the good news of God may overflow in us, Lord. Father, we are sending all these prayers where our brothers and sisters are in desperateness, where they feel like they are going to go homeless. Father, there is nothing impossible with you. And God, we also know that you are never too late. For me, just as I said to my sister Sharon this day, I said, I believe when I look at my life and where I'm coming from and where I am right now, just like as I tell my husband all the time, I believe and I have faith in you, God, and I believe that Jesus is real and that Jesus is Lord and God is real and he's there. He answers prayers. He changes destinies. He makes a way where there is no way. We ask for the inter intercession, intervision, Lord, from the Holy Spirit, from the heavens itself, from the Father himself, the Lord God Almighty, that Father, you will intervene when it comes to finances across the whole entire world when it comes to your children, that Father, you shall give us wisdom, wisdom to set up infrastructures, wisdom to set up businesses, ideas that are going to sustain us for longer periods, Lord, even if we are not going to be rich as the world wants to be rich. We want to be able to provide, Lord, to eat from our own hands work and hard work, that we are not going to be getting things for free. For you said a lazy hand shall not eat, and we, your children, cannot be lazy. So, Father, we ask for wisdom in the body of Christ, that may we come together, that may we, you, you begin to open our eyes and our spiritual ears to give us ideas, Lord, the same way you sustained Abraham and his wife, Lord, that they did not work for any man. We are asking for that wisdom, Lord, that you will set us apart. We want to break out of this social dynamic way of life where people have jobs that are caught from 1 to 10 and they have ways and protocols are like this and that. We do not want that, Lord. We want to be able to do work that is also going to fulfill a purpose in this world, Jehovah Nisi. We, want to, we don't want to fall in the standards of society, of this earth, the rules and the laws of this world. No, Lord. We want to abide by the shadow of the Almighty. We want to abide and obey Obey your commandment, Lord, your word, Lord, that it shall come to pass and be fulfilled in us, that we live in this world, but we do not live with the same standard and ways of this world. Even as we are losing jobs, even as we are living jobs, even as we are jobless, Father, may we remember that in this moment, may we not go to society and fall into the standard of having the same way that society lives. Instead, Lord, give us the knowledge and wisdom that we may bring something to this world, not just to society, to our countries and nations, but to this world, Lord, to our fellow neighbors, ideas that are going to give us money, but at the same time, it's going to do something greater. Advance the kingdom of God and spread the good news, whether it is selling tomato on the street, that when we sell that tomato, we sell it with a smile, Lord, and that the neighbors we are selling it to are also going to receive the love of God through the same tomatoes and through the love of God that is within us. So, Father, we are asking for that greater understanding and knowledge. The same way you were giving Keto, you were giving all of those things for the people in the old days to provide and sustain themselves. Father, we know that we might call this millennial, Gen Z, new age world of living, but Father, your ways are everlasting. They are refined. They are renewed. They are steady fast. They are the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forevermore. They are not like trade that come and go. So we are asking for that provi provision the way our, our brothers and sisters, Abraham, 
Jacob lived their lives in a way that you made them bosses, Lord, that they worked for you, Jehovah Nisi, that you, the same land created food for them and bared fruit for them to be able to provide for their own families and also sell some of those crops and provide for themselves and earn a living. We ask for that. Those with <coughs> gifts, Lord Father, let our gifts and our talents begin to multiply, Lord, begin to feed our children. And we know that the start is not going to be easy. We are going to start from small beginnings, but we know that from small beginnings is where you love, Lord, from humble beginnings and you make everything great. That you also bless our seed that whatever we are going to put you are going to allow us to do through our handwork that you are going to also allow it to multiply that it should be it shall be a seed that is going to feed us and help us father my god to also help other people that we shall not just feed our own homes and families but we shall also be able to extend and feed others also able to share that love able to share that peace able to share that food as you have said in the bible god we are surrendering all all the brothers and sisters in Christ, everybody that is distressed, everybody that is worried, everybody that is fearing, everybody that doesn't understand, everybody that is crying, we surrender them to you and we ask that God you have your way and that you take full total control and that you take charge and that you arise and come in, that you intervene Lord, that you intercede, that you have your way and that you take full total control and that you begin to rejuvenate people Lord and that you begin to renew people's minds, and that you begin to re-strengthen them, and that you begin to renew their mind, mind, body, soul, and spirit, and that you begin to lift their spirits, Lord, that the Holy Spirit shall begin to empower them, Lord, with that study with knowledge, Lord, with peace, with kindness and fulfillment, with knowing that it is well and it shall be well, that you will never for forsake us, that you will never fail us, and that you will never let us down. And Father, many are your children crying out here. We are crying and waiting for you. And I know that, Father, you see the wickedness and the evil that is going on, the injustice against the ones that are, that are being oppressed, that are being lied against, that are being accused, that are being tormented by governments, by workplaces, by bosses, Lord, by society, by this evil world, Lord. We are asking for strength that we shall not reside to ways that are not of God, that we shall not reside to desperateness or fear, and that we shall not hold on to the things of this evil world out of fear, that if we let go, we are going to lose everything. Father, for everybody that loves you has to lose everything of this world and lose their self to love you the most, because everything that we want to love of this world, we can not keep the only thing that we can keep that is permanent and that will never be a disappointment or a fail to us is your word lord is you jesus is you our father in heaven that is the only thing that is good for us men and that we know that will never ever let us go so god this evening as your children we are asking and lifting our brothers and sisters begin to wipe tears away begin to renew father minds begin to re-strengthen them begin to give them hope and peace again begin to fulfill them with that understanding lord begin to give them the knowledge and the wisdom that surpasses all man's understanding begin to oppress father that fear begin to suppress it begin to to seize it begin to cut it out begin to break the shackles and the chains lord of desperateness of anxiety lord of fear lord of pain lord of victimness lord may we cry to you father knowing that we are speaking to our confidant that is listening to us and that would, would make a way for us and not crying to you lord because we are afraid no jehovah nisi because we do not have to fear it is only you that we fear it with trembling lord with fear and trembling we refuse father for this world to make us live in fear and trembling over the things that money can buy because money is nothing lord jehovah we are asking you to strengthen our faith. We are asking you to renew our faith. We are asking you, Lord God Almighty, please, Jesus, to renew, renew us in the Holy Spirit, to baptize us in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Ghost fire, to change the way we think, to allow your will be done in us, Lord. For you started all of this. Even when we think we have asked for things, a lot of things have fallen into place by your will and your grace. Half of our lives, Lord, we did not even ask. Oh, now me, I can confess with my own mind. Half of the things and the blessings that I have, let me never ask. Oh, now your grace and your mercy 
every detail, from every dot to every I to every T. Now you the only one who knows, Father my God. So Lord, we ask that have your way. Let your will be done. Take full total control. Help us, Lord. Help us, especially in this time. It is time for our faith in Christ Jesus to stand. It is time for our faith that we have in God to speak for us. In God, we are not going to be born again Christians who are preaching faith out here. And then when time comes, we are afraid. We are not going to be desperate requesting for prayer requests in the same time of misery and sorrow and where we are afraid we are going to be praying praying for our loved ones our neighbors and for the body of christ interceding lord for even job had to deal with times of pain and sorrow who are we we are not exemptional we are not accepted or segulated or, or set apart to never go and endure. No, Lord. You said ever long-lasting endurance, which means long-last suffering and endurance is part of saving you. May our faith, Lord, be renewed. May our faith, Lord, be made strong. May you empower and enlighten our faith, Lord. May our prayer life be renewed and revived. May our Bible study life be renewed and revived. May our way of life, our faith in you be renewed right now. Revived, Lord, with power, Lord. With steadfastness, with boldness, with peace, with love and with kindness, with understanding. That we serve a faithful God. We serve a loving God. We serve a covenant God. We serve a God who never ever fails, slumbers, neither lies. So Father, we are asking this evening that begin to awaken us, Jehovah Nisi. Begin to renew us, Lord, from the in and the outside. Begin to remind us, Lord, it is you who started this. And it is you who will see it through. That we have no other power. That we have no power at all apart from that what you allow. And that it is by your will, your grace and your mercy and that what you allow. So God of Abraham, we surrender these prayers, Lord, to you. We are asking Jehovah Nisi, begin to strengthen your, your daughters, to renew them, to rejuvenate them in and out. Your sons out here, Lord. That we are not going to stay on that bed crying as victims. We are not victims, we are victorious. In that, Father, we shall remember that saving you is not just about brightness 24-7. You are with us and for us and never against us. And the fact that we have that, it is our solid, solid, steady ground we stand on and that we have your word. We do not have to fear and you are not a man who changes your word. You never lie and you will never fail us. So, Father, we are asking right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you give us understanding that even Jesus suffered. He died on the cross for our sins. That even us, we shall face seasons and times. There shall be seasons and times. But in all seasons and times, we give praise, thanks, honor, and glory to you, our God. And in all seasons and times, Lord, you are with us and for us and never against us. We are asking that you help us to mature in our faith, Lord. That when things are not going right, we are not going to be desperate and fear and cry like little children. No, Lord. If we are going to cry to you, we are confiding in you as our confidant, knowing that we are leaving our burdens and our sorrows before the altar of the Almighty King, the God whose eyes is everywhere, who sees and his ears hears everything. That when we leave it there, we move with confidence. That we look forward to whatever is your will and your purpose upon our lives and our homes. We refuse to be desperate, Lord. We refuse to want to glorify you only when there is money in the bank account. We also know that saving God, you already told us, Jesus, that when we choose to save you, we shall be persecuted. Some of us will be killed. Some of us will be ridiculed, mocked. Some of us will be beaten up. Some of us will be rejected. Some of us will be betrayed. Some of us will be, will be, will be, will be snatched out of whatever we thought we were because we are saving you, God. You told us, Lord, that the world hated you, so we should not be surprised if it hates us. So we are asking as, a, as, as the body of Christ, may you renew our minds, Lord, that we are not going to, especially when it comes to money, Lord, the devil can control or try to take away something financially from us. Lord, may we remember that something that the devil can never touch, which is more important to us, is our lives. 
our souls, our children, our marriages, our health, our loved ones, those things is that money cannot even buy. The grace, the mercy, the goodness, the everlasting, enduring love of God that is upon us, that the devil can never take away, no matter what he does. That is for us, if for eternity, from here to the heavens and from the heavens back to the earth. God, may you remind us that we should not be fools, that when we do not have money, we are before your presence, crying and worrying. No, Lord, may we remember that what the enemy touches is peanuts, because that what is life, you have given the power only to yourself. You have kept it to yourself, the honor and the glory, the power, principality and authority above all is all yours and yours alone. May we remember that, Lord. As we speak to other people, may we not be fake Christians who are encouraging other people, but in our own walks of life, our faith is so little and weak. We pray for a strong faith, for a vigilant faith, for a faith that walks in just like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, walk in the fire and know that your God shall be there. Lord, we trust and we put our belief only in you. It is through your son, Jesus Christ, who was born on the Calvary, who was born from a virgin and was crucified on Calvary for us. We bless your name. We thank you and we worship you. And we ask that, Father, you help us. And by our own, we cannot do it. That's why we ask for your help, Holy Spirit. Because on our own, we result to the same things that we do not want. Have your way and let your will be done. We thank you, Lord. We bless you. We honor you and we lift you. It is through the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We surrender all our beloved Lord. Visit all our brothers and sisters, even the, the, the ones who are not yet born again. In whatever distress they are in, render your help, your love, your kindness, and your mercy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory the praise and the honor. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. 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 Let me carry the go with my flow. Have a blessed night, and we shall see each other very soon by the will and the grace of God. And this is the time to walk in that faith when things are difficult. It's easy to have faith in God when everything is going good. But actually, having faith in God, the most and the greatest, and when you are empowered, is when you are having hard times. And do not keep anything in your life out of fear or desperateness or anxiety, because it will blow up in the end. Keep it because God has put it in your life, and whatever God has given you, it don't come with fear. Have a blessed evening, and God bless all of you wherever you watch it from. Shalom, love you, and Jesus loves you more. Bye-bye.